Today we're going to be looking at the country blues harmonica player Wayne Rainey. So I was looking at YouTube recently to see if there's any tutorials on Wayne Rainey and I couldn't find any. So I thought I'd better do something about that because I think he's really worthy of study if you're into blues harmonica and particularly country blues harmonica. He had this really unique style where he played this honking blues harmonica but he played it like a fiddle player and yeah I've been an admirer of Wayne Rainey for a long long time so he's from that heyday of harmonica players in country bands I mean, they were used a lot more often replacing the fiddle in the band so he was around mainly in the 1940s and 1950s he recorded solo and he also played a lot with the Delmore brothers and quite often he would team up with another harmonica player called Lonnie Glossom and they just create this amazing music together almost sounds like two fiddle players just going for it. So as you can see I'm a big Wayne Rainey fan. I'll have to admit some of his songs a bit twee for my taste but his harmonica is just bitchin. So I thought we'd look at one of his songs called Lost John Boogie and just try and deconstruct the harmonica he's playing on it. So this is the song that I'm talking about, Lost John Boogie. I'm going to show you now how to play that harmonica piece using this diagram. It's a representation of the harmonica. You've got holes 1 to 10, blow notes on the bottom, draw notes on the top. Today I'm playing an A harmonica in the key of E, so we're in second position. So this is my interpretation of what Wayne Rainey is playing. Treat it like a guide, like a road map to the tune. And the purpose of this lesson is not for you to copy precisely what Wayne Rainey's playing, but if you like this way of playing, incorporate it into your own style. So use this tutorial as a springboard for your ideas of what you want to play on harmonica. So the harmonica begins on three and four draw and he plays those notes together and then moves down to two draw like this. From there we go into a shuffle based around two draw. So he's playing two draw and he plays the draw chord one, two, sometimes three, I think. Then he plays blow chord, one and two, and back again to the draw chord, and he just keeps repeating that. So here's what I mean. This is right from the beginning. Played at speed, we get this. And sometimes when he's playing that shuffle, he does little skips in it. Things kind of like this.
From the shuffle we move to the three hole. So we've got three draw, three blow. So do the three draw, do a bend, two steps or one whole tone to the three blow. That's quite a common little phrase in Wayne Rainey's music and you do hear it quite a lot in country harmonica in general. So on to the next piece then. So it does that bend again. Two blow. One and two draw. So the whole thing. If we put that all together, we get this. This is a good place to mention something about Wayne Rainey's style. Quite often he plays two notes together. He might play three and four draw, or two and three draw, one and two draw. Sometimes some of the blow notes together. And it sounds kind of like a fiddle when you play two strings together. Or sometimes even like an accordion. So here's what I mean. Three and four together. Two and three. So on that piece I just showed you, sometimes he's just playing the single note and sometimes he's playing it like the chord. So, this is what I mean. Single note. He's playing the three and four together, three and four draw. And same when you play some of these notes down here. So just have a listen to him playing on the song and you'll see what I mean. He varies it quite a bit. For the next part, we do that thing on the three hole again. And then we move to this quite fast piece around hole five and six where it starts. And I'll slow that right down for you so you can see what's going on. So we start on the three hole. And on that piece, it also sounds like he's kind of slurring some of the notes together. Like it sounds like maybe five and six kind of slurs it together and some of the others. And he gets this effect, sounds almost like an accordion playing. So this is what it's like with single notes. And kind of slurred together, kind of, this is my interpretation of it anyway. So I'll play that piece one more time and then move on to the next bit. So it goes back to that three hole again and does that bit with the three draw, the bend, the blow, two blow, and then 
the one two draw chord and back into the shuffle so So if we put together what we've got so far, this is what we get. The next part starts with three and four draw together and it kind of slides down to two and three like this. And he also adds some hand wire. And then the last piece, we go three blow, three draw, four draw, three draw with the bend, two, two draw, and the shuffle. So that last bit, we put that all together. So if we put it all together, this is what we get. that's it. So remember you don't have to concentrate on getting every little bit of this just perfect because this is just my interpretation of what he's playing anyway and I miss out a lot of the subtleties of his style. This is just really a road map to what he's doing with the tune. So just have fun with it and just play around with it and, and what you learn just incorporate it into your own style. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you're new to Wayne Rainey's music, check out more of his songs on YouTube. There's a few of them out there. See you later.